everybody, Sean Halley from Line 6 here. I'm at uh, Sweetwater Gear Fest 2015, and I'm ecstatic to finally be able to talk to you about Helix, which is a floor-based guitar processor that's probably going to redefine how people think about guitar processing for both uh, studio and the stage. So we've been working on it for about six years, and uh, it's great to finally be able to talk about it and show people and stop hiding it when I take it in and out of my house. So, Helix uh, has a number of things about it that are revolutionary in the field of guitar processing. Uh, not only does it have dual DSP processing inside, which means that we can finally realistically recreate the feel of uh, tube amplifiers, not just the sound of it, and it also has touch-sensitive foot switches, which we can use to help select things, to help um, assign things, all sorts of crazy stuff. So it has four different effects loops built in, so you can incorporate all sorts of uh, existing gear if you don't want to stop using your favorite gear just because you want to use Helix. It has unbelievably robust MIDI control, and also the ability to control, uh, control external amps and up to three expression pedals. It works as an 8x8 USB interface with reamping built in and pre-assigned, so it automatically records the dry channel for you and you can use it to reamp on the way back out automatically. There's not much to configure. So uh, when we really started looking at how we wanted to um, harness all of this crazy power, we realized that we had to make sure that even though there was a ton of horsepower under the hood, that you could get around it very easily. So if you look at the screen here, you can see that it's got a really large, uh, lovely screen uh, that shows you a bunch of information. It shows you as much information as you'd expect to see from a computer-based editor. So uh, even though it will come with an editor, there's really not much need to use one. So as you're navigating around, you can see that you have four different stereo paths uh, available in each preset. So right now in this preset, I'm using two different paths. I've got one serial path here and I've split it off and I have another serial path here that recombines there. And I still have another two stereo paths left down there to do something else with. I could process those uh, different inputs if I wanted to on the back panel. I could uh, you know, have the singer's uh, channel come in here and give him some processing too. Or I can do all sorts of crazy variations on wet, dry, wet doing things like sending the wet out one set of speakers, sending out the, y, the, the dry out another set of speakers, sending the wet channel from the looper just out a separate output. So there's all sorts of crazy stuff you can do. But part of the thing about this touch sensitive um, nature is that when you've got things assigned to the foot switches, and you can see here that I've got the Minotaur distortion pedal assigned to this switch, I've got the ubiquitous vibe assigned to this switch, and I have the industrial fuzz assigned to this switch. If you look at the, uh, the, the screen here, as I touch these, it automatically selects those blocks. So as opposed to using the joystick, which I can certainly do to move around, uh, the benefit of the touch sensitive uh, foot switches is that when I touch here, it automatically moves things around so I can get to items that I want to tweak immediately. So it's a super fast way to work. If I want to assign something, so for instance, if this delay, if I want this to be assigned to a foot switch, it's really easy. Hold down the foot switch for two seconds. It says, hey, do you want to assign that? Yes, please, and now my delay is assigned to a foot switch. So it's a super quick way to get around uh, the user interface. So uh, not only does it sound amazing, uh, but it's really easy to use. You can assign uh, sort of various things to various foot pedals, which I'll show you in another video, but uh, maybe right now we should just sort of go through some of the sounds. So this is a, one of the typical sort of a jumped kind of a plexi thing. <laughs> One of the things about um, these amps and how dynamic they are, um, we basically went through and did basically profiling from a circuit-based level. So from one point in the circuit to the next point in the circuit, if we measure that, uh, as soon as we make that behavior match, we can move on to the next part of the circuit. If we do that, it means that all of our knob interaction is really accurate as well. So. <laughs> all this crazy realism. So no matter where the knobs are set, the behavior is the same it would be in the real world. So if you've got a pedal on, like let's say you've got a, a copy of the Klon Centaur in there, when that's on, it still has the same level of realism you'd expect from the real gear. <laughs> So 
So all of that realism extends to the effects in the pedals as well. Now, one of the things about this sort of um, journey for recreating all of these amps and pedals from scratch, we actually had to go through and create standalone models of some of the components that are in some of these effects. They're very important. Basically, we finally have the DSP available to be able to accurately describe what's wrong with these parts of the circuit, if that makes sense. If you've ever seen an original uh, Shine Univibe, you know that uh, the way that the Univibe sound is created is basically a light bulb and four little optoreceptors, little photocells around it. And as the light sort of um, waxes and wanes, that's what makes the, the sound of the, uh, the Univibe so wobbly. And that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to recreate in the digital domain. So we actually have uh, standalone self-governing models of things like light bulbs, uh, bucket brigade chips, and transistors. So when you actually hear something like the Univibe, <laughs> So all of the effects have this same level of realism. So our Bucket Brigade emulation is amazing. It actually changes the delay time using the sample rate, just like the real ones do. So if you're looking for uh, realistic amps, if you're looking for um, realistic effects, if you're looking for a, an unbelievable master controller that can send MIDI data all over the place and has four effects loops, uh, Helix is absolutely something you should be checking out. There's going to be a bunch of media up on the web soon, a bunch of videos, a bunch of sound samples, that kind of stuff. If you have any more questions, please uh, don't hesitate to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer for more information. I'm Sean Halley. Cheers. Mm -hmm.